I want to do is I'm running out of time. I don't know how long people will stay connected. I'd actually like to go to the step six. Uh, can I call it step six? No, step five. Okay. Uh, basically, because there I've done some stuff with uh, S3 object storage. So I'm going to run this one apart. Um, actually, here I'm going to just. I'll do a Terraform destroy of my last VM there, whilst that's going. So it's checking the state, it's not deleting anything yet. It's looking at the config files. Okay. And now I'll let it delete those. Okay. Okay, but now I'm in another directory. Okay, so I'm going to create another state completely. Um, and this time, so providers, no difference there. In my main file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an S3 bucket, okay, to store some stuff. Now buckets need a unique name. So I'm going to use this uh, random string resource just to give me a, a short hash function. Uh, so some random letters there. And I'm going to use bucket name prefix. I've set it to MJ Bright, and hopefully that will give me a, a unique name. Um, I've added a couple of attributes, force destroy and prevent destroy equals false. This basically will allow Terraform to, uh, after I created the bucket and I want to do a destroy, this will allow Terraform to destroy the bucket even though there might be files within the bucket. They're dangerous, but that's my choice here. Okay, by default, it won't let you do that. The other thing is uh, I've created this um, uh, simple queue service object, okay? And this will allow us to see events on S3. Uh, we'll see actually make modifications to our bucket, okay? So, find any outputs of interest. Um, oh, yeah, that's a uh, <laughs> IPs. No, that's that's a mistake. Forget that. Okay. Now we'll do Terraform apply. Okay, so it's going to create a new bucket. Actually, that random string doesn't seem to be very random. Thankfully, it has changed, but earlier I kept getting the, the same name. <laughs> okay, so the prefix I created actually MG Bright demo, which I put in my variables file. There, MG Bright demo is my bucket name prefix. So it's created the bucket, and I created a little script to actually show uh, some operations on S3, very, very simple, and show that we can see the event in the SQS queue. Okay, so first of all, a list of uh, buckets. Okay, so my new bucket has just been created. Uh, we're not logged into the future. I'm based in France, by the way, so it is 6 p.m. here. Um, we also created um, an SQS queue. Okay, so this is the QRL, the URL of it. And so now if we can look in that queue, see if there are any messages. Okay, so there is one and this, uh, I see it's a test event, basically when the bucket was created. Okay, so it's basically telling us that bucket creation. If I look at that bucket, we can see there are zero objects, size zero. So I will just copy any file in there, do the summarize. Okay, and this time we have one object, we have a variable file. Okay, so I'm going to do that uh, receive message again. Now, I, there did seem to be a propagation on this. So let's see, has it been, yes, it has been updated. Okay, and somewhere, uh, I should see somewhere, Okay, I see object created put. I was expecting to see the actual file name. Um, 
which I'm not seeing, but uh, let, let me run that uh, command again, see if anything's changed. Well, that's a test event. Okay, so I've lost the event now. Okay, never mind. Uh, but presumably that event, anyway, it was an object created put, presumably corresponded to me uh, putting a resource, putting a file within my, my bucket. Okay. So that's uh, very briefly a look at using Terraform with AWS. I'm going to do my destroy now.